Good day everyone! Today we're going to study division concepts. Division can also be illustrated as repeated subtraction. Just like this example, Prince is sick, the doctor has prescribed him to take two tablets of medicine daily. How many days will the medicine last if he bought 12 tablets? So for the first day, we have 12 minus 2 tablets is equal to 10 tablets left. For the second day, we have 10 minus 2 tablets is equal to 8 tablets left. For the third day, we have 8 minus 2 tablets is equal to 6 tablets left. For the fourth day, we have 6 minus 2 tablets is equal to 4 tablets left. For the fifth day, we have 4 minus 2 tablets is equal to 2 tablets left. For the 6th day, we have 2 minus 2 tablets is equal to 0 tablet left. So the question is, how many days will the medicine last if he bought 12 tablets? That's correct, 6 days. So now children, let's write the division equation for this problem. The first number is the dividend. What is the dividend here? That's correct. It's 12 because we have 12 tablets in all. How about the divisor? What is the number that we divide to our dividend? Good job. It's 2 because Prince need to take 2 medicines daily. And what is the quotient? Good job. It's 6. Let's have another example. How many groups of 4s are in 20? To solve this, we will subtract 4 from 20 for a certain number of times until the difference becomes 0. So let's start. 20 minus 4 equals 16. Next, 16 minus 4 equals... That's correct, it's 12. Then, 12 minus 4 equals... Good job! It's 8. Then, 8 minus 4 equals... Fantastic! It's 4. How about 4 minus 4? It is equal to... 0. Very good! So division is repeated subtraction. You subtract the numbers as many times as you can until the difference becomes 0. The quotient is the number of times you subtracted the number. So let's write the division sentence. What is the dividend here? The job is 20. How about the divisor? That is 4. And the quotient, again children, to know the quotient, that is the number of times you subtracted the number. Let's count the subtraction sentence. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that means the quotient is 5. We have 20 divided by 4 equals 5, wherein 20 is what we call the dividend, 4 is the divisor, and 5 is the quotient. Let's have another example. 30 divided by 5 is equal to blank. This time, we're going to use the number line to find the quotient. Here, we're going to skip count by 5 until we reach 30. Are you ready? Let's do it together. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Since we reached 30, let's count the number of jumps to find the quotient. How many jumps do we have here? That's correct! It's 6! So we have 30 divided by 5 equals 6. Let's have another example. 24 divided by 3 equals blank. Again, children, let's use the number line to find the quotient. Let's start at 0, then we will skip count by 3 until we reach 24. Are you ready? Let's do it together. 3 6 9, 12, 
18 18 21 24 Since we reached 24, we can now write the quotient. How many jumps do you have? Good job! It's 8. So that means our quotient is 8. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. Let's have the last example. 40 divided by 10 equals blank. Again, let's use the number line. Always remember number line starts at 0. Then we will skip count by 10 until we reach 40. Let's do it together. 10 20 30 40 So what is the quotient? Good job! It's 4 because we have 4 jumps in our number line. So we have 40 divided by 10 equals 4. This time children, let's use the repeated subtraction to find the quotient. 70 divided by 10 equals blank. So we're going to subtract 10 for a certain number of times until the difference becomes 0. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. 70 minus 10 equals 60. Then 60 minus 10 equals 50. Then 50 minus 10 equals 40. Then 40 minus 10 equals 30. Then 30 minus 10 equals 20. Then 20 minus 10 equals 10. And 10 minus 10 equals 0. Since we reach 0, we can now count the total number of subtraction sentences that we have to find the quotient. What is the quotient? Remember, the quotient is the number of times you subtracted the numbers. So what is the quotient? Good job! It's 7. Because we subtracted 10 7 times to 70 until we reach 0. So we have 70 divided by 10 equals 7. How about if we have this? 10 divided by 2 equals blank. Let's use the repeated subtraction to find the quotient. 10 minus 2 equals 8. Then 8 minus 2 equals 6. Then 6 minus 2 equals 4. 4 minus 2 equals 2. Then 2 minus 2 equals 0. So again, children, division is repeated subtraction. You subtract the numbers as many times as you can until the difference becomes zero. Since we get the difference zero, we can now write the quotient. Remember, the quotient is the number of times you subtracted the numbers. So what is the quotient? Good job! It's five. So now, get your drill board. So we have here 15 divided by 3 equals blank. So using your drill board, find the quotient. You need to use the number line to get the quotient. Is that clear? Remember, the number line starts at 0. I'm going to give you 1 minute to find the quotient. Timer starts now.
Time's up. Let's see if your answer is correct. Again, we're going to skip count by 3 until we reach 15. Let's start at 0. You. 3. 6. 9. 12. 15. So the quotient is 5. Why it's 5? Because we have 5 chumps. Is that clear? Let's have the next number. Let's have the next number. 45 divided by 5 equals blank. Again, use the number line to get the quotient. The number line starts at 0. Timer starts now. Time's up! Let's see if your answer is correct. Again, we're going to skip count by 5 until we reach 45. Let's do it together. 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 so what is the quotient? How many jumps do you have? That's correct! It's 9! So we have 45 divided by 5 equals 9. How about if we have this? 20 divided by 5 equals blank. This time children, use the repeated subtraction to get the quotient. Timer starts now. Time's up? Let's see if your answer is correct. So again, children, how are we going to solve this? Very good. We're going to subtract the numbers as many times as we can until the difference becomes zero. So 20 minus 5 equals... Very good. It's 15. Then 15 minus 5 equals... 10. Then 10 minus 5 equals... 5. Then 5 minus 5 equals 0. Since we reach 0, we can now write the quotient. Remember, the quotient is the number of times you subtracted the number. So what is the quotient? Good job! It's 4. We have 20 divided by 5 equals 4. Let's have the last example. 16 divided by 2 equals blank. Again, children, using your drill board, use the repeated subtraction to get the quotient. Timer starts now.
time's up. Let's see if your answer is correct. Let's subtract 16 and 2. 16 minus 2 equals 14. Then 14 minus 2 equals 12. Then 12 minus 2 equals 10. Then 10 minus 2 equals 8. Then 8 minus 2 equals 6. Then 6 minus 2 equals 4. Then 4 minus 2 equals 2. Then 2 minus 2 equals 0. So what is the quotient? Very good! It's 8. We have 16 divided by 2 equals 8. Always remember children, division may be expressed as repeated subtraction. We subtract the same number as many times as possible until the difference becomes 0. And lastly, division shows equal partitioning of a set of objects.